Hey everybody, John from Cecil here, and in this video I'm going to be announcing my Executives of the Year for 2019-2020. So first up is Treasurer of the Year. Everybody knows that Treasurer is a really difficult position, sometimes it's a thankless job, and it takes a really specific type of person to be a great Treasurer. Nobody in my cohort has embodied the Treasurer spirit better than Brenda Joaquin of the John Jay Dreamers. It takes a good Treasurer to be able to be good at paperwork, but it takes a great Treasurer to be able to take critique and apply it to their professional life. Brenda Joaquin has done that so many times, and I'm extremely proud of her. I can't wait to see what else you do here at John Jay. Congratulations. Second is Secretary. Uh, this one may not come as a surprise for a lot of you, but it's not because he's just always in Cecil. It's because he was brand new to his post and brand new to Cecil this year, and his willingness to improve upon the community that John Jay offers, as well as Cecil as a whole offers, has been absolutely unparalleled for somebody as new as he was. Not to mention, he was also a great secretary and really reaffirmed his club as being one of the biggest in Cecil. So so for that reason, my Secretary of the Year is Gary Singh from Students for Justice in Palestine. Congratulations, Gary. Next up is Vice President. So this VP has been a mainstay in Cecil ever since 2017. They were part of a very troubled executive board that almost ran their club into non-compliance. But because of their work afterwards, the club was able to flourish and experience a new life. I'm happy to announce that my Vice President of the Year is John Elowan from the Youth Justice Club. John, you were the only returning exec for Youth Justice this year, so not only were you just a Vice President, but you also ended up becoming a mentor and role model for your fellow executives. I'm going to miss you so much, John. Congratulations. Don't mention it, though. I'd also like to highlight another Vice President of the Year. This VP was in my office constantly asking me how to navigate problematic situations both in and out of their professional life as an executive, and they have worked incredibly hard in maintaining balance within their organization. So I am also awarding Vice President of the Year to Celine Colon of Theatrical Players. Celine, I am so proud of the person that I've seen you grow into. Congratulations. And finally, my President of the Year. This president founded a club in spring of last year, and their first semester was so incredible I almost gave this award to them last year. But they absolutely redefine what it means to be a club president. They command so much respect, and they empower their fellow executives to be the best overall club within my cohort. So congratulations to Vanilla Varghese from Leading Women of Tomorrow for being my president of the year. Thank you all so much for your outstanding achievements in Cecil this year, and thank you so much to all of my executives. This has been a really difficult year, and I'm so happy that all of you have put the time and energy into making the John Jay community a better place. Stay safe, stay healthy, and good luck on finals. Hi, my name is Alyssa Hollywood and I'm the coordinator in the Office for Student Transition Programs and one of the club coordinators within the Center for Student Involvement and Leadership. I would like to thank all of my club executives for all of their hard work that they put towards their, their club and their members this year. Unfortunately, I'm only able to select one person for each position for Executive of the Year. These award winners were selected for their hard work, their dedication, their passion, and their creativity that they put towards their clubs. And the winners are for President from Habitat for Humanity, Cassandra Dudicolaire. For Vice President from Universal Image, Martina Machado. For Secretary from Economics Club, Jay Travers. And lastly, for Treasurer from Habitat for Humanity, Thais Juarez. Again, thank you so much for all of your hard work. I hope you all the best in the rest of your semester. Hope you enjoy the, your summer break. Thank you, bye. My name is Nikki. I'm the specialist in the Center for Student Involvement and Leadership. And I just want to extend a huge congratulations to all of our executives for finishing out the 2020-2021 academic year. This has been quite the interesting year to say the least, but I'm very proud of all of you and the work that you've done for your clubs and for your peers and for yourselves. Our jobs wouldn't be anything without all of you. So to say that I miss you all is an understatement, but congratulations to all of you on a really great year and a really great semester. To my cohort, I just want to tell you all a huge congratulations. I miss you all so much. It's never easy making these decisions for these awards because all of you deserve so much. So thank you for all of your hard work, your time, and your commitment. Um, I've definitely missed you the remainder of this semester. And for my graduates who are graduating this semester, please know how much I'm going to miss you. And I wish you nothing but the best as you continue on your journey. For my treasure of the year, this goes to a student who just started in a club this past fall semester. She immediately always went above and beyond with making sure the paperwork was done correctly and submitting everything in by the appropriate deadline. My treasurer of the year is Rafia Islam from Computer Science Society. 
My secretary of the year goes out to a student who was super proactive with making sure space requests were submitted in time and making sure everything was needed for their events. So my secretary of the year is Mark Suda from Computer Science Society. My vice president of the year goes to a student who was always coming by my office to ask questions. She always wanted to make sure she got everything right, super proactive with getting things done, answering emails as they came, and I know she's going to continue to do a great job for next academic year. My vice president of the year is Jennifer Itiani from Haitian American Student Association. For my president of the year, I'm actually awarding two students because I had such a hard time deciding. Uh, both of these students went above and beyond. They were committed for years for their club to make sure that their members had the best experience, the best cultural experience, and just had a wonderful time at John Jay being involved in their club. So that is why I'm giving president of the year to Fatma Abdullah from Arab Student Union and Gabriela Montano from Latin American Student Organization. Once again, congratulations to all of my student executives and the winners this year for the CSOL Award. I'm so proud of all of you for the work that you have done and will continue to do for your peers. My job wouldn't be the same without you. Thank you for a year of really great conversations, events, and laughs. I look forward to seeing you all really soon. Hey everyone, Hing here with Cecil. I am excited to announce my cohort's Executive of the Year Awards. Before I get to do that though, I just want to say thank you to all of you. This is definitely a strange time, definitely unprecedented, but um, through everything that we've all been through, I know that you all have been super successful. I'm just so encouraged and so amazed by the hard work that each and every one of you has done. And I couldn't be more proud to be a part of the John Jay Cecil family for the last two and a half years. It was a dream of mine to come work on the East Coast. Each one of you made that dream come true. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I will try to cherish the last week that I have with you all as much as I can. Moving on to my cohort executive of the year awards. This first one is uh, this gentleman. There's a lot of positivity, a lot of energy, definitely helped keep the club going, extra visible. Uh, I know that his club um, was super successful this last year with so many different events. It seemed like every single week that they were busy turning in paperwork, busy uh, submitting new event space requests, doing extra outreach uh, each month and each week. It was just amazing to see their club growth. The Secretary of the Year Award goes to Kevin Torres from Lavos. So congratulations, Kevin. Next, I want to give a shout out to this treasurer um, of the Year Award. This individual really stepped up. Um, I was kind of concerned for this club at the beginning of the year because it was difficult to reach out to who I was originally reaching out to in the, in the summer. And and this person was actually um, reaching back to me just as much and he, he showed equal concern but he really stepped it up he really grabbed the reins started working on all the paperwork increased communication effort without his efforts I know that nothing would have been done in that club this treasure of the year award goes out to Shamar Le Breton of JJ Singers Association so congratulations Shamar this next award for vice president this club is um, is all over the place on campus I don't think that you could go to any corner of campus without hearing of this club. It's probably because of big part to this individual who has connections everywhere. Um, he really started to implement programs and events for this club in a different way, but it was very positive, more inclusive than I imagined that they could be. Really also had a lot of fun with it from what I could tell. And so I just want to congratulate this individual. Congratulations Vice President of the Year to Timothy Rodriguez from Seek Society. Last but not least, the President of the Year Award. So this individual, uh, first time president, second time club executive. Uh, she was the vice president from, from last year. I didn't think this club could get any better. You couldn't top what they did last year. This year they um, did above and beyond planning. They did above and beyond organization. Um, communications and everything and even through all of this last month and a half of um, you know distance learning this individual really stepped it up for their club and even collaborated across um, across clubs and, and even with Cecil and just to help to enhance the name of the club I want to give a this president of the year award to Selena Lee from the environmental club congratulations I'm super impressed with everything that you did with all that we you know was given to us and you know you just it was an amazing work that you did that concludes this year's Cecil Cohort Awards for all of us. We want to give a huge thank you one last time to each and every single one of you for all the work that you've done, the leadership that you've de um, developed, shown around campus, and through distance learning. None of this could have been done without each and every single one of you. So from
from the bottom of our hearts here at the Cecil family, we want to extend a huge thank you and a congratulations on another successful year, making sure that we keep our students involved, engaged, and learning. Take care.